What's going on, comrades? Drewski and James here, back mm. for another toasty, toasty review. And you can consider this a follow-up toasty review to the one that me and Eric did a couple months ago on the Moscow Mule um, drink, vodka, ginger beer, and lime on ice, preferably in a copper mug. But what we have here today is what is to be dubbed Mule 2.0. Uh, not Mule Kick from Call of Duty, but this is as close as it gets. Um, it's a pre-mixed mixer, 8% alcohol, Moscow Mule. So, Mule 2.0. <clears throat> we'll be able to compare this, you know. Greensdale, Indiana. I don't know much about the brand company that makes it or the brewery or whatever. but <clears throat> So, we're just going to crack it open, give it a shot, and let you know... I would like it. See how it compares to the drink that me and Eric made by our own hands. So, see if our mix is up to par with what they're willing to put in a can. So, without further ado, we're going to pour up, be right back, and try this out. It's got a really gingery smell, as you'd expect. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Enough to gas out James. Just got them couple 3-4 ice cubes in there, you know. Just going to pour up like about half the can or so. So yeah, like I said, vodka, ru preferably Russian, it's got to be Russian, Russian vodka, ginger beer, and lime served on ice. That's what a Moscow Mule is, so let's give her a shot. Cheers, my brother. Strovia. Mm. Mm. Okay. Ginger hits you right off, right away. Definite amount of ginger in there. But lingering in the background is that vodka. You can definitely tell that, you know, this is an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> oh, it's tasty, though. It's tasty. Um, really is. It's a classic drink. And maybe you could use a little more. Like, I would maybe, if you're going to get this, like, add your own lime to it a little. Yeah. Just, I, I'm missing the lime. Like, there's not a huge amount of that it's lime just a presence. Hint. It's a very... hint. Well, that's all that it would be anyhow, is you just squeeze yeah. a lime over it, maybe throw that throw it in there if you like lime that much but um yeah i don't think you'd be drinking the drink if you didn't like lime anyhow <laughs> but anyways so yeah but compared to the ones me and eric made um i'm gonna i'll look back and see what the toasty rating i gave on that and i'll compare it when i give a toasty rating but um it's it's a it's a recognizable drink you know it's yeah. hard to fuck up um you know you have to have the taste for ginger you got to, you know, like ginger, which is not a problem for me. I like ginger ale. Ginger ale. Uh -huh. um, vodka. Fucking love that shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, not much really to say. Um, I guess one more taste and we can give it the toasty review. <laughs> All right. So, for Moscow Mule... 2.0. I'm gonna say that's a solid four out of five. T -t 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 Toasties. I agree. Four. I mean, you can tell it's a mixed canned pre-mixed drink. Yeah. It's got that like that artificial alcohol tinge to it, like mm. pretty much anything has. Any but, mixer, any cooler or mixer. Yeah, yeah, anything pre-mixed like that. But it's not in a bad way. It's still a great yeah. Moscow yeah. Mule I didn't flavor. Know that. Not knocking, I'm just saying. It's definitely, whatever I gave Moscow Mule, I'm going to compare it, you know, so. Four out of five, to to toasties for sure. So, um, yeah, that's that. Moscow Mules. Found this at Woodman's Liquor Store, so just check your local liquor department. Maybe they'll have it. I don't know much about the brand, so sorry about that, guys. Can't give you much info on them. But other than that, I, it's highly recommended from Drewski. Four out of five. Until next time, comrades, thank you for watching. Peace. Toasty!